evening. Well, I haven't been doing a lot of evening stuff. Normally if I'm doing photography, I'm out in the morning. You want that low light and mist and fog and all that kind of wonderful stuff. But I thought, you know what? Let's get out. Let's do an evening shot. Let's go and shoot the heather. Um, so I've headed up to the roaches. Come to shoot the wonderful heather up here because there's loads of rocks that can make it look ace. And I've got a suspicion I've come too late. So just a couple of weeks ago, we had the hottest temperatures on record in the UK, and it's really had an impact. And it looks like all the heather has turned really early. I was hoping I'd be able to catch it uh, while it was in sort of full bloom when I head over to Padley Gorge, which of course I'm waiting for the, the colours to turn now. But uh, I don't think I'm going to get that opportunity. It's so far advanced that it appears to, I may not be 100% right, but it appears to have lost its luster. It's lost that, lost that lovely bright lilac colouring. It's starting to brown off a little bit underneath. So I'm not sure how lucky I'm going to be. But it's a beautiful evening, some nice cloud, good, it's nice and warm. I'm out of breath, but maybe I'll get some photos on the way. Let's see. Okay, we may have a shot. You can see we've got those beautiful sort of god rays coming down and they're straight over. Uh, you can't really tell on this video in the distance, but Bosley Cloud is there. So I'm gonna try and do something with that. Let's get set up. Okay, so I've got the shot lined up and the downside of it is that I'm gonna to have to focus stack and exposure stack, which I'm not happy with. And I don't like doing any of them, but um, it, it's a pretty straightforward composition. I'm going to show you on the camera what I'm trying to do and hopefully explain exposure stacking and focus stacking if you don't know what they are. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to have to wind down the exposure. Uh, let's just show you what's going on here. So as you can see, I want those wonderful god rays there and that little bit of colour that's creeping up on the horizon. Bosley cloud is there, although you can't... This is why I'm using the... Uh, 70 to 200 because I really need to try and get into that and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more but I may have to rely on the fact that this is such a big uh, big um, megapixel 50 megapixel that I can crop in a bit tighter in post but I turn the exposure down and use uh, about I think it was f14 uh, I figured it was going to be the best to get the background looking good then I've got to take another shot and I'm going to turn the exposure up because I want to get the mid-ground yeah keeping the camera in the same place and then really turn it up to get the foreground now I'm not too worried about the foreground being super light because I, I don't mind it being a bit shady at the front and then of course I've got a focus so that's the exposure stack uh, the focus stack of course is I need to be focused on this then focused on the middle and then focused on the cloud right at the back there uh, and hopefully that's going to produce a good image. Uh, if not, you definitely won't see this clip. And if it does, it's coming up right now. I normally get three compositions out of a walk to try and show to you but currently I don't even know if I've got one the heather's not playing ball for me and I'm not seeing anything that's really catching my eye the sun's dropping so there may be a sunset in this for me but it's not what I came up here for oh fingers crossed we get one at least one let's see so desperate am I for a decent composition to do this video with that I've resorted to 
good old fashioned straightforward landscape photography, why not? Let's whiz this around, see if I can show you. So um, th this is a no brainer uh, foreground, point of interest just at the top. Good cloud structure, which is why I decided to take it, it's because the clouds look good. Um, it's not the best, but it's a photograph. <laughs> As you can see, the sun is absolutely burning through that cloud now. And I've taken a, a quick shot using these rocks as a bit of foreground. I've got to be honest with you, I'm not happy with it. Um, I'm probably gonna to have to faff around with it quite a lot to, to make it look right. I don't even know if it'll work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try something else. I'm not gonna go for foreground. I'm gonna go over to that bit there. I'm gonna lie down, I'm gonna get the camera real low. I'm gonna just shoot over uh, the valley here uh, and towards that sun. May work, may not. Let's go give it a go. I thought I'd just let you take a moment to see just how beautiful it is here right now. Welcome to the Peak District. Well, that's my night done. Uh, just wrapping up now. It's, uh, it's getting quite dull. We've got some rain clouds very, very far in the distance. Uh, but you know what it's like up here in the Roaches. They could be here in minutes. And the sun's hidden itself behind those clouds. So th there's nothing coming my way now. It's been a lovely, lovely evening though. Absolutely devastated that I didn't get what I wanted again. And I do think I've missed the boat on the heather. But uh, pretty soon Paddley Gorge autumn colours are coming, so do check out hopefully the next couple of videos and we'll see some wonderful autumn colour. Uh, but until the next one, like, share, subscribe. Bye for now.